I want to tell you a rule. Uh-huh. Any girl that's had a butt done. Uh-huh. A hundred, not 99%, 100% loves to have her ass touched. <laughs> So now that we're in the you know, presence of greatness, there's a question I've always wanted oh, to thank ask you. you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Shia, you too. Huh? I can't remember. Pretty Mike, you too. Yeah. <laughs> when you guys said greatness, I was presuming you were talking about the Lord. The, oh, okay, yes, there's that too. Hallelujah. As a child Take us of to God, church. Obviously, <laughs> so the yes, Lord was first. There's a question I've always, always, always wanted to ask you. Right. Please, Pretty Mike, give me the inspiration behind the entourage. Every time you step out, right. it's a madness. Every time you step out, you know, we want to see, people are saying something, people are talking. Please, right. you always have the entourage. Let us, I need inspiration. What inspires me? Yes. Or where I get inspiration from? What where? started it? What inspired, you know, the whole concept of like going out with the entourage and then when you have an occasion, what inspires the theme of the entourage? So I think, I think for me, I've had that question asked about a billion times and I've pretty much tried to answer it the best way I can. So I think it was just part of me growing up as a kid wanting to always stand out i grew up in the states houston uh played basketball mm, ran track so there's this sportsmanship of always wanting to stand out mm. when your name has been announced you want to come out looking extra hyped and extra pump different from every other person you know it's a mind thing uh so growing up uh then, of course, the name kicked in there, Pretty Mike, when I was like uh, maybe 12, 13. Mm. Yeah, and it was not because of my looks. People think, it's, oh, is he, is he fine? I'm like, no, it's not that. I have five sisters, so I've always been around girls. So it was a thing of the dude with the pretty girls all the time and then with their friends. Ooh, right, I so like that's that. where that name kicked in. So I just always stood out. So every time you saw me in school, whether it was middle school or high school, you saw me with an entourage of ladies. Mm. Sometimes not knowing if they were my friends, girlfriends, but most times, nine times out of ten, they're just my sisters or my sister's friends. So it was like a, you know, cool thing, right? You know. So, but that being said, uh, I believe everybody has a a feel when you dress good. When we have a new outfit mm -hmm. on. There's this elevation you have, like you know. I can conquer the world. Like, I can talk to anybody. I always want to have that feel all the time. So, coming back to Nigeria, dressing up, and you know, everybody's dressed now. But I realized something. When you go to a wedding, first of all, you're pumped and hyped at home because you dressed nice. You know, she's a nice, yeah. Mm. Then you get to the wedding, and everybody else is dressed, meaning everybody's on the same high. Mm. They're also feeling... They're feeling cool. Right. Yeah. Mm -mm. That wasn't <laughs> good enough for me. So I needed to step the high up. So that brought about the entourage. So now I'm dressed good. I'm feeling good. But I'm on a different high than everybody else. Mm. So you that's feeling good from your house, you come to the wedding and you are the one pulling out your camera. Oh, to... okay. Yeah. Ah, I so like you that. elevated your high. Right. Well, have you ever had like any events where it was, you know inconvenient to have the entourage with you no mm -hmm. never not once mm -hmm. it's, like uh, it's uh first of all you know you hear all kinds of uh comments oh i'll kick him out of my wedding blah, blah. Bro. like if pretty much pulled up at your wedding you kick him out right like, but no, we'll open door for you. <laughs> Roll i only go to i only do that stuff at people that are like my real friends mm, okay my core friends mm. like my the gang right so it's all love. Mm. Yeah. I, I and then and I started yes. putting stories behind every one of them because sometimes people ask you questions. Mm -hmm. What what does this symbolize? What does this stand? And everybody's confused, you know. Are you doing rituals? You know, all I kinds think, of I stuff. mean, that little guy you were cooking up. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no. I, I, mm. I think the last one I saw, I think that was that cooking yeah. one. I thought it was even inspired by the cookathon thing that was going on because yeah, it kind of came Heidi. out around that time. Yeah, it, yeah. it, it, it wasn't. Oh, okay. But if you read the caption, it was a case of that was the week subsidy was removed, everything kind of increased, people were complaining, and my caption was pretty much uh, 
can't remember it exactly, but it was a case of it's going to get bad, so bad real soon mm -hmm. that we'll start eating humans. Mm, wisdom. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, you know, and that kind of thing. Just imagine we never chop now, right? Mm hmm and we're like, who go, who go, who go mm -hmm. eat? Vegetable <laughs> can be I mean, vegan. you look like a good... Uh, I, 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 I'd like to if I taste good with salt. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll start considering you uh, now. I, I mean, uh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for answering that question. Because honestly, like I've always, always, always wondered. Right. You know, which brings us to the start of today's show. Everybody here, we have the first pretty mic. I feel like his name speaks for him. <laughs> he speaks for him. So one of the man. big... Wow. Lagos. Yeah, because you said you're always around yeah. women, beautiful women. I can't to even say Lagos, yeah, Lagos Big Boy because it feels like I'm insulting you by even saying Lagos Big Boy. So international large wow. man. I guess that's what I'm saying. I but yeah, we have with us Pretty Mike. And, you know, I like today's topic, Shayon. Mm -hmm. It's really, it's really spicy. Mm -hmm. It's really spicy because so many things have been controversial. So many things have been going on around and, you know, Shaya was also telling me before we came here. Do you wanna do you wanna show the camera what you were showing me? Do you want to show us? And she was showing me her bright her bright future behind her. So I wanted to talk about BBLs, right? And obviously, so I was saying to them, like, I feel like out of my set of friends, maybe my core set of friends, when we go out, we're the only ones who don't have anything in hearts. Like nobody's breast is fake, nobody has their bum done. Oh, you know, get out of Me here. Too. This, this <laughs> Hayash is on a different level. <laughs> but like, I out of my core this. friends were like the only ones that don't have anything done. But the rest of Lagos, like... But but, but some of you mm -hmm. are planning to get done. No, not my own, Sha. Not your core friends. None not of my them. core friends. No, not uh, even, I was going to say, like, even yourself, fillers. Or... No, because we have these conversations all the time. Me, I'm happy to say I'm all my friends. I'm the small ass that shakes. <laughs> I have a booty. That's fine. But like, I ask them like, they have bigger bums than me. They have bigger breasts. They work like, they're not really, they don't care. So me, I can say my own cool friends, we don't want anything done. And okay. I was even saying, even for now, like, for now, as, in, as of right now, or as recent, we don't want anything right now. Okay. Even things like fillers, like I was saying, even things like lip enhancing or like, you know, you can get your bridge fixed, all right, these right, fillers, right, right, right. nothing. And I say to, I say to Inda all the time, if I was to say, Money's not a problem. Tell me what you want done. What would you get? If somebody said that to me, I'm like, ah, I'm just, I'm not, I don't really want anything. Mm. Like, I'm, do I you, like the way you, I look. Yeah, like, right, right, right. I don't know if I have a big angash. I don't know what problems are going to come with that. Do you get what I mean? I don't, mm. and I feel like. So you mean the, the small you have is causing problem already? You know, so, as, say, as, I just, as, 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 as somebody, I mean, I didn't really say that. that but is, you my know. market is selling, like, it's not the worst. Okay, it's, okay. It's, you know, it's, the market attracts, you know, sellers. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. I have an audience, but like, I couldn't feel like it's not like I said, <laughs> they, they said you audience. can have a, the baddest, not a botch BB, not the ones where your left and right is looking like they're oh going No, like a baddie, like a badass. I wouldn't, I would, it would take me a while, like, to even think about it. If they were like, Literally, you will click your fingers. Your body will be perfect, exactly how you want it. I, I wouldn't... I'm happy like this. Like, maybe I'll be like, I want a flatter stomach. But I know me, I like to eat. Within three months, I'm going back to that surgery. Like, so mm -hmm. that upkeep is not even something that I'm willing to do. Okay. So for me, I'm not against BBO, but I'm also not pro. I'm Whatever you want to do, do. do for, for me, you. Sha. Not yet. I'm still young though. So maybe in time when the world starts to show me Pepe Al. <laughs> like, I don't know. But now let me ask you, what, what's your take on the fact that it feels like everybody, because you're in an entertainment space, you're right. in the nightlife space. Right. And I feel like that's when you get to see all kinds of shapes and bodies. I know that whenever, like, I, I have I ever seen a BBL on the mainland before? I'm not sure. Once I cross that third mainland bridge, once I enter that <laughs> Lekki Koyili bridge, world. I'm seeing, you know, different shapes and sizes. And like, you know, like I said, I'm a body positivist, you know, love your body as you are. If you want to work on your body for you, let's it be because you're doing it for you and not because the world is telling you to do it. So, mm. yeah. So now what's your take on what seems to be the prevalence of BBLs in Lagos, in Nigeria? And yeah. For me, it's a great thing. Um, it's a wonderful thing mm -hmm. to be able to be given the opportunity to enhance yourself, enhance your look. Mm. Um, these technology wasn't really available back then but you know what i believe once technology is available 
it is to the advantage of the people. The mm -hmm. question is sometimes some abuse it, some misuse it, which is normal in everything in life, sure. right? Um, if you're a married woman, have four kids, and, and, and you feel like, you know what, your stomach that is flabby and you want to tuck it in, and I mean, do what you got to well, do. that's different, though. Well, that's more we like did, a life we, we didn't, we didn't, We did not necessarily specify the groups or types of people, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And with the lipo, you transfer the fat to and to make your butt cheeks either stand up or <laughs> you know what give to it some do more, with that big yeah. fat butt. <laughs> yeah. hey, give, it, uh, give it some more curves. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You are right. There's a lot of people doing it. Mm -hmm. Young girls, single girls, married, everybody's doing it. I mean, if it, if it rocks your boat, for me, just I, mean, yeah. I, I like to see it. I remember that we didn't even clarify for our audience. So people that don't know, I mean, I'll be surprised if you don't know what a BBL is. But if you don't know what a BBL is, it's um, but augmentation. Lift. It means like Brazilian butt lift. And, you know, it's when you transfer, you know, fat from the rest of your body and put it in your derriere so, you know, it can wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah. <laughs> and then we some, have to... don't, some don't wiggle, though. <laughs> <laughs> Let's we're getting, we're, getting, we're getting to that. We are really yeah. getting to that. So there's that, there's BBLs, Brazilian butt lifts. There's like um these liposuctions. liposuctions and there's ones where you can get like cushions. Does should we say um even breast implants is involved? Because I, I feel like it's not even just BBLs, it's body enhancing. And like you just brought up a good point. I feel like body enhancing when it comes to oh, she's had a kid and she wants to tummy tuck or breast lift, it's a positive outlook. But right. if she wants to increase her boot her derriere or increase her breast. It's almost like, oh, she's insecure. Yeah, like she's a street girl. Like she's doing it for a guy. Like, and to be honest, like, do you feel like girls enhance their bodies intentionally for girls? Or do you think it's a, Mr. Like, Pretty Mike, I feel like you'd be the best person. Honestly. Start, do you think they enhance it for guys? Do you yeah, think do you guys think? play oh, a big detriment mm. to why they enhance their bodies? Or do you genuinely believe that, oh, you wake up and you look, oh, I want a bigger bum. I'm going to get a bigger bum. Or do you think? You, you, you know, there's this... Um, don't ask, don't tell formula out there. And it's, it goes two ways. So you can ask your average guy, do you think you work hard enough for the girls? Mm. They'll probably tell you no. But nah, I'm doing it for my future, for my family. Huh. But in the real sense, once they hammer, mm. is that girl they they're going mm -hmm. for? You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I think it's vice versa. If you ask your average girl that's had a BBO, do you do this for the guys? She'll be like, no, I'm doing it for myself. Mm. Trying to, you know. Mm -mm. But once she's done, she's on the social media twerking it for us. Oh, sorry. I mean. So, <laughs> so they never, nobody's ever going to admit that they're doing it for someone else. They're doing it for someone else, you mm -hmm. know. But in the real sense, I mean, what's 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 in life when you can't enhance your body and, and can get a good compliment or if you're that girl that regularly don't have guys talking to them or maybe nice guys or rich guys and you had to let me flat ass and maybe the kind of guys that are talking to you are the kind of guys that want to at the end of the day dash you 50k 100k and you're like man you see other girlfriends <laughs> that 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 have bbl and, mm -hmm. and they're buying cars and Wait, houses <laughs> at, at the end of the day you you want some of that and, and you, 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 you got to step it up. I mean, I got me, questions. I'm always, <laughs> I have a cause me, I'm, I can't remember the matters of my head. So I'm always, 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 always rooting for women. So now the thing is, I understand that some people do get BBLs or like mm -hmm. body enhancement surgeries done mm -hmm. because they want to appeal to the male gaze. Let's mm -hmm. not deny there's some people that do that. But then I don't think it's right to say that most of the time, a lot of people do. Some people have like body enhancements now. Some people have insecurities. And mm -hmm. these insecurities, I don't validate insecurities. I think, you know, society forces insecurities on people. Like now, I like the way I look. But if I still look at the mirror sometimes, it feels like society is telling me, oh, Oinda, ah, look at your stomach, you're eating, you're adding weight, it's looking big. Da, 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 da. But I like the way I look. So these insecurities are not even coming from me. It's being projected mm -hmm. onto me. I know someone who broke her nose in secondary school. And when she gets older, she's like, okay, she wants to align. The nose. So it's not like she's doing it to please the male gaze. There's sometimes where it feels like, okay, I just want to, like, I want to, like you said, enhance, but it's not necessarily to please the male gaze. Because how do you justify, you know, lesbians that get BBLs done? 
because I mean, <laughs> I'm not planning on doing it for any man. So no, but yeah. they, 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 it's, it's still even the lesbians that do it, they still to appeal to what, whatever sexual preference they have, mm -hmm. whether it be female on female or with a, a trans or whatever. It's still sexual oriented at the end of the day. Have you seen any girl that's done BBL that has refused to twerk it and just probably covered it up? You know what? It yeah. hasn't happened. I, so I, I, actually, I, I, I have actually. mixed. I, like, okay. I feel like there's one girl that I follow on Snap, right? I, the funny thing is I've seen her transition from before BBL to Post -BBL. BBL. Right. And she does this thing where she's very much about self-love. She's always like, I'm going to the gym to work out. My but Your body is your temple. You have to make sure you look after your body. Make sure you don't put or don't drink too. Like she's always doing this. Mm. And I'm like, okay. I feel like you're a bit of a hypocrite because you put stuff in your body and then you're telling me drinking is bad or so like there's that double conundrum. But to be honest, I never see her twerk. I don't even see her cleavage. Like she's always very well covered up, very corporate. She dresses corporate all the time. But you will see that silhouette. So I have seen a few people that the BBLs is not for. So that's her marketing strategy. Mm. Everybody has a marketing strategy. Everybody has a way they're trying to portray themselves. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a formula that works for themselves. Everybody also has a target audience, mm -hmm. right? So her target audience might be the type that uh, I've probably already told her, if I catch you doing all this, you're you will lose me. So just keep it modest, firm, mm -hmm. right? I mean, that might be her market. Whereas some trying to let everybody see it. What's your market? Well, what? So everybody has what a market. Do you like? No, what do you like? What's oh, okay. your, what what's is your type? Your, yeah. Type of girl? Yeah. Fair enough. Oh, girls. Yeah, well, funny enough, I'm, I'm the probably one of the few guys that don't have a spec. Right? So I'm not a um, big butt, big breast, slim. I, I've dated all. It's all about the personality first. Because I feel like. You said it's all about the personality first. First, okay. first. So if me and you don't vibe, mm -hmm. Mm -mm, the relationship is not going to work or I'm not even going to pursue the relationship. Mm. Uh, I've dated, and you can ask my, people that know me know that I've dated all kinds of girls. Because for me, every other thing can be purchased. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if that's what you're looking for, right? So this is how I was dating a slim girl. Mm -hmm. I mean... If she has a great vibe and we can talk and laugh and, you know, just have fun. To me, the sex is like secondary. That's not, for me, that's not first. I've had a lot of my male friends that all they're interested in is big butt. So the girl can be ugly. She doesn't have to have to talk. Right. Let her be handicapped. Just have a big butt. That going. So for me, I'm like, what is that? That's, that doesn't make any sense to me. So. Are you single? Single? No, I'm in a couple of relationships. Ah! Sorry? Plural. Did you? Did you? Did you, did you I'm, oh, oh. <laughs> Congratulations to you guys. Um, the, the squad. Um, are you taking um, gang, gang. CVs in case anybody wants to apply? Is yes. It, are they, yes. Would they be fourth, five, six, seven? No, 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 no. Okay. The uh, vacancy is still open. Okay. okay. Yeah, I can handle it. Oh, yeah. okay. It's yeah. very, very. Big Daddy very said he can handle it. So you guys, yeah, do, do your work. <laughs> so I have a question, right? Yeah. You said you don't have a preference, right? No. Mm. How then do you know if you want somebody? Because I hate to sound like an asshole, right? But that's okay. Vibes, like, if you were in the club, how do you just say <laughs> you yes? I like that my vibes. One. Like, I the vibe is vibing from. <laughs> right. so, are you sure it's not so, just burner that so like your vibe? I, do you know what I mean? So I, I'll give you a good example. I uh -huh. like what you just said. Uh, when I came in here, I sat down, you know, and I'm, I'm going to just say like as it is. You walked in and you were free, you were dancing, you were, you know, for already that caught my attention, right? Irrespective of the body. I'm like, oh, yeah, it looks like she she's a vibing type. It would have been different. Wait, if, sorry, which? Me? Yes, you. My body is fine, guys. The, Wait. Don't, don't get me wrong. Like I said. No, what he's talking about is the vibes and personality Yeah, now. so it wasn't even about the body or mm. anything. Like, you know, maybe, oh, she has a big butt. No, mm. it wasn't even that. It was just, I just felt her personality was a nice one. Her right? personality was strong. Right, right. It could have also been someone that looked just like her and came in and had this very nasty personality or attitude. Oh, that won't catch my attention. Mm. 
That's very, very, very interesting. Shia. No comment. I sure not going to be filling no your CV comment. now. No uh, comment. Shia, no comment. No comment. No comment. But now, no, okay, so we've... The, the, the squad. Yeah, mm. I'm so sorry. So I mean, we've addressed no, why... No, 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 we can, we can exclude you. Huh? We, we can do have a, do an exclusivity. Oh. I think we should talk about this off Thank you, everybody. <laughs> um, <laughs> progressing forward. Yeah. Um. So... Another question, a bit controversial. Yeah. If you were a woman, what would you have done? Like, what would you want to look like? For me? Yeah. I'll do everything. Mm. So you want a big butt, big ass? Like, what would you, if you were a woman, I, if pretty I, Michael, I would, like... I would keep playing with technology until, um, especially if I can afford it. Mm. So, see, for example, now the Kardashians, they're not taking out their mm -hmm. iPods. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So they've experimented it all. Mm. At some point, they're like, you know what? I don't want this big butt no more. That's because you can afford it. You can afford the maintenance. And I think that's what life should be all about. You should be able to play with it however you can play with it. You, can, you might want to have a big butt today. Cool. You don't want to have it tomorrow? Oh, well. That's fine. So if I was a woman, I'll, I'll, I'll pretty much keep vibing to different characters and you know, to, to like... But now, you said um, play with it now. I think we need to address, you know, some of the risks associated with getting, you know, cosmetic surgery because there's general surgeries and like there's cosmetic surgeries and usually, except it's like experimental, cosmetic surgeries are usually one of like the riskiest types of surgeries mm -hmm. to get. I think BBLs are like in the top three, if not is the top or most risky surgery mm -hmm. to you get know, because... Kanye's mom died from her yeah. BBL as well. Sorry? She died, Kanye's mom. Who's mom? Kanye. Kanye West. Oh, she died from getting like surgery. And yeah, so like yeah. people... It's not as... It's not as... Let's, first of all, let's even talk about the access to people getting surgeries done in Nigeria. Now, it feels like everybody... I mean, I'm, I say something, and if you want to get it done, have money and get it done the right way, to be very honest, because it's your life you're playing with. I think in general, have money, because that having money gives you access to... To a lot of things. Yeah, because you like, can't be doing two-for-one promo, buy one BB or get one lipo free for two-point-something million in Lekki, and expecting that there would not be Severe consequences. So, I I I feel kind of different. How so? Watch. Yeah, mm. life I'm is him, actually. life itself is a risk, mm. right? No, I'm not a risky person. No, no. You're freaky though. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Get there. <laughs> life itself is a risk. I'm not saying. I can tell you. There's a higher percentage of people that die giving birth mm. than BPL. Mm. Really? There's, yes. A, uh, hold on. Okay. Very high. And, and what I want you to do after this is go do your studies. There's a high percentage of people die when they're having the appendix taken out. But let me tell you what happens to BPL. It's striking, right? It's always in the news. Mm -hmm. There is no time a lady has died trying to give birth at the hospital and is on the news. Mm -hmm. You know, so you don't see it; it's not in your face. But for BBL, whoa, it's in your face. So that way, you make it makes it think you make it makes it look like there's a higher risk factor there. In surgery, generally, there are risks. And I told people, I said, let, let me tell you something. In medical school, there's no class for BBL. Mm. It's a new technology just came out there. You know what? Even some of the doctors don't know how to do it. Mm. They are learning. They are trying to pick from here because everybody's body is different. The way your body might respond to transfer of fart might be different from the way her body responds. Yeah. And if I'm a doctor, they've been doing it for, let's say, a couple of years. When I get to your body and, and I see something different, I might not know how to handle it. Mm. And that's what happens in surgery in general. Right, uh, you cannot have a. And if you're a young lady and you're trying to get this done, and you're trying to maybe enhance your life or feel better about yourself, you know what? You're gonna take the risk. And I'm not saying you should go key yourself, mm. do your studies, ask around, ask for the doctor, understand how long he's been in business, basic. But I can even tell you, for doctors that have been in the business the longest, still have accidents happen frequently. So it's not it's not about the money mm. per se, right? Yeah, of we're in Nigeria. 
there are people that are going to obviously try and get it cheaper. Option. Or there are doctors that are not going to take, yeah, they're mm -hmm. not going to take all the actual rules and regulations. Yeah, I mean, it's going to happen. But hey, it's it's what life is all about. If you don't do BBL, girls do other things. Everybody's taking um, all kinds of medication now to have their butt big from the inside. <laughs> is that a thing? The mm, syrup. And they have all these, what they call it, body magic, body but enhancement yeah, type There's so many kinds yeah, of that people products take. that you're putting in your... I don't think they work your, though, but yeah. There's so many products people are putting in their body, mm -hmm. not knowing if it works or not. Mm -hmm. It's also a, it's a, it's a high risk. Mm. Yeah. Because that's why I said that, you know, what I would say, I do agree with what you're saying, but then what I'm also saying is that, like, I'm not saying you shouldn't take risks. Like, you know, it's not my life. It's your life. Once put on that knife, that's your life. Yeah, I, I, and I remember I, I was probably one of the first people to call out all our celebrities that had their bodies done mm -hmm. a couple of years ago. In fact, I called even my friends. I called them all out. And the reason why I called them out was, hey, stop lying to these girls and telling them you're going to the gym. Oh. That's something I wanted us yeah. to address. Oh. So, so, you know, for me, you're a role model, so allowed. let them know Be you're honest. getting your body done. Okay. Right? And that way, a young girl that's thinking about it will also go do her research and not necessarily thinking she can go to the gym and, and wear waist trainer and, and, and <sighs> suffocate okay. herself, mm. you know, trying to, uh, you know, get yeah. her body right. Yeah. So, sorry, this, I wanted to address this, right? Do you feel like when it comes to BBL, body enhancement, when it comes to the whiter side of the world, it's glorified. But when it comes to black people in it's Nigeria, glorified. it's almost like you're supposed to feel ashamed or like a celebrities aren't meant to admit that they've got their bodies done. Or the Kardashians, like we can evidently see them. Like even loads of Brazilians, non-black people that have BBL. But the Kardashians are not exactly open like about the fact that they got enhancements though. You Sorry? Know? They're not open, like they never address so that, it. It's it's that it, 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 took, it took a while for them to... Yeah. And even, I mean, so... But they don't get bashed for it. They, in fact, they get the Kardashians at one point were almost what everybody should thrive to go and look like. Mm. Like I think I remember watching Doctor Miami. He was like, every time we get BBLs, they tell us they want to look like him. But right. when it comes to like you just said, you called out all your friends. Why is it that if you have a BBL, right? Why shouldn't you feel just as proud as they are? Why can't I be like, yes, she has a BBL and take this picture and say, Doctor, I want to look like this person. But I feel like when it comes to black people, it's almost like, oh. Say that you go to gym or don't be too loud about it. Don't be too, you know, kind of be hush hush. But with white people, we glorify them. Like, why don't they get the same stigma as we do? Recently, it's changed. Things are changing. If you notice from when it even started till now, now you've seen girls go do their surgery and actually show us the procedure. Mm. Some girls are still admitting it's changing. Sometimes I just tell people these things take time. Mm. Uh, it's not easy for you to go enhance your body and, and now want to come on social media and talk about it. But crying out loud, you're probably thinking, what my mom and dad think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you always say lines to mom and dad that, you know, no, I'm not gym now. I'm walking out. I'm not doing yeah. that, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and then now, so it's, the world is changing. It might, it might not be changing as fast as some of us want. Yeah. But I, I think people should just, um, I, mean, I think a lot, a lot of people just like to be in other people's business. Mm, I mean, I mean, like you know, that's a given. Yeah, a lot of people just want to be in other people's business and sit down and tell you what you want to do or what you should look like. I mean, just like you were talking about, people look at you and sometimes, "Ah, oh, your stomach not too big," or "Is this not?" And, and you're like, um, "Can you just leave me the fuck alone?" My question I want to ask is now, like down to like, being honest and open about like getting enhancements done. You said, okay, you called your friends out, telling them that, oh, stop lying to people that right. you know this and that and that stuff like that. Then I want to ask, because I've always wondered, do you think people are obligated to let you know if they had work done on their bodies? Because there are other aspects of our lives. Like now say, if I do my body today and I go to the gym, I tell people, okay, I'm gym, I'm gym. Is my body, is my life. Do you get, do you think like, because there are other aspects of our lives. Like now, if somebody is doing fraud, mm -hmm. do you get, he's coming to tell you he's working hard, he's doing his money. He's, he's not going to tell you, oh, this is what I'm doing. If somebody's money laundering, he's not going to tell you what I'm doing. It's so a, now my question like is, do you think people are obligated to tell you whether or not they are social media figures, whether or not they are people's role models? Do you think they're obligated to tell everybody else that, okay, fine, I had my body done. Mm -hmm. Do you think like, I am i don't think I'm obligated to tell anybody. If you think I've had my body done, all the best to you. But like, mm -hmm. what do I you think, think it's a double-edged sword. I feel like you don't have to. So like, you know, I always say social media People already have an impression of you. So whatever you put there in general for your own peace of mind, always put your best foot forward. I feel like 
you don't have to inform everybody. The same way you don't need to inform everybody what you do with your life was in your account. However, I don't feel like you need to be deceitful about having it done. Mm -hmm. You don't have to address it. So let's say if I had a BBR now and I didn't want to speak about it, I don't have to address it, but I won't, I, I shouldn't be deceitful about it. Do you know what I mean? So you could be like, oh, have you had a BBR? Well, you know what? I do actually work out and I try to eat healthy and try to get my body right in shape. I haven't said no, but I'm not saying, because also the thing with BBRs, it does need maintaining. So sometimes when they say gym, it, it's not necessary. That's because it's a double edged sword. It's not necessarily a lie because you can do a BBL like you, today. You, you still need to gym and work out and keep it yeah, in I shape. What so I heard is, so I just, yeah. Let's, for me, I like to use the Western world standard. Okay. If I'm a public figure and I got my body done, right? And I'm telling the world that I didn't get my body done, but I've been going to the gym and working out and taking supplements and taking this pill. Western world. If a young girl sees that and tell her parents or her friends, oh, look at... um." Kardashian and she's working out and she goes and do the same thing and maybe hurt herself while doing it, right? The the country will come for you. They will sue you. They're liable to There's get accountability. you. Accountability. Yes, because you're a public figure. People believe um, or rather society believes you should be able to say certain things. I'm not going to tell the, the public that I got my body done but I'm using this pill to enhance my, and then selling that pill to you, and then it's not working. If it doesn't mm. work, you can be arrested, you can be sued. A lot of Nigerian influencers are very fond of doing that. If people get your bodies done, they come and start marketing with lost products. Yes. We so, know you. Exactly. These makers too, <laughs> yeah, with the ones yeah. with big breasts. Yeah, we, we, we know, know yourself. We know them. So, you understand what I'm saying? But, so, that's in the Western world, where there's a standard. Mm -hmm. One thing with Nigeria, there's really no standards. Mm. Uh, it, it's wrong. Obviously, if I was working in the bank and I got my body done, I don't tell anybody anything. Why? I'm not a public figure. I'm not a role model. <laughs> You're not looking up to me. So there's extra accountability for people who are public yes. figures. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You have so. to, at some point, say, you know what? I got some work done. But I need to maintain it with dieting and coming to the gym. Mm. And that's standard. Do you think influencers should be blamed for the, or not necessarily influencers, like influencers and public figures, do you think they should be held responsible for the rise in like, you know, because you said it's new technology, yes, right. but I don't know the day. We only know about technology that exists when people make it known to us. Mm -hmm. Do you get so now? Mm -hmm. Do you think, you know, influencers, public figures should be held, I won't say blamed because blame would imply like something wrong. Right. Should be held responsible for the prevalence like rise in BBLs, cosmetic surgeries work done and all that because it's actually it just not when you say new technology relative not because I remember watching Dr. 90210 like how many how many how many how many years ago yes. she gets surgeries yeah. like that so I mean it was available just to the elite class because it was like super expensive yeah. and the doctors that were very really few good doctors it, could do it very few doctors that's could why do it that's why it was expensive it was yeah. un almost unavailable and like purely exclusive right so now it kind of feels like it's available to everybody mm -hmm. I remember 2020 this particular girl on Twitter Jesus baby or somebody called out. There's this doctor. Up here. You guys have probably heard of her, Doctor Anu from right, Med right, Contour, right. Yeah. who botched her BBO. Like she botched it right. proper, and she almost died. Right. Mm. She spent more than she did on the surgery to fix fixing it. it to get what it even looks like now. Right. It's like now. But well, now she's enjoying it. Would you say that she is? <laughs> so, but you know what? Is that close? Maybe? Unpopular opinion. Mm -hmm. I feel like things like this do need to happen. I'm sorry to that person. Like, I don't wish her evil or anything. But I feel like sometimes when you do something and there's something bad, it opens people's eyes to it. Right. Because the fact is, like you said, a lot of people, and let's say Nigeria, a lot of Nigerian socialites or influencers that have had their body done don't really speak about the negative side of things. Don't really voice or oh, the recovery or how painful or how hard it was or whatever right, the case right. may be. The process they went the through. The process, it. Right. even like I think even things like how much it really costs. Whether it was a lot of people don't really discuss that. And I feel like when bad things happen and it's public, it lets people be aware. Like you asked, do you think influencers are to blame? I don't think they are to blame because I don't feel like you know just because you see someone doing something, you blame them for you doing the same. However. As an influencer, you play a responsibility to the people that you influence. That's why you're an influencer. I'm not responsible for you doing a BBR like me, but I've influenced you. 
And that means, and as an influencer, it is my job to influence you. So like, let's not forget as influencers, it's your job to influence people. It's in the title. You're an influencer. You're the reason, you know, if an influencer comes up today and say, hey, buy this tequila or, you know, do this. It's amazing. It's not tequila. I haven't even had a shot yet. It's so coming. A shot I don't have a question yeah. for you. We'll what if I have this? Break, like, yeah. if an influencer says, come and buy this product, it works really well, you know, X, Y, Z. I want to believe that, oh, yes, this person has tried it. You're like, for you, you're the prototype. You're the per the day you, you've done it. So the now you've given less, us yeah. the blue tick. You've given us the go ahead. Like, oh, yes, I've done it. So it's safe for you guys to do it. I've used myself as the lab rat. So I feel like you do play a responsibility because you influence. However, you're not responsible for how people take your content. Mm -hmm. You know, there's travel content, there's makeup content, your body, um, positive body influencer. You might not be for everybody. So because I might be into travel, does not that means whatever you influence doesn't affect me. If whoever, do you see what I mean? So I feel like, there's influencers, your job is to influence. Yes, influence me, but how I take on your influence, or how I react to it, I don't think it's your fault. What do you think? I, I think, and I think we have to come back another day for this topic. The word influencer has been overrated, mm. has been mm. over. Oh, I'd love to have you back, actually. Yes, <laughs> it, that, that, yeah. word, that mm. word, an influencer doesn't have a good definition any longer. Mm. I'm sure even if you Google it on Google or yeah. search in dictionary, we are lost. Influencing have different level, different grades, mm -hmm. different departments, different status quotes. You cannot meet a girl that probably from a very poor background, having to grown up in the eyes of the public and now have maybe 200,000 followers and have engagements. Now companies are paying her to influence. Mm -hmm. Nine times out of 10, because she desperately needs that money, she's not going to double check on whatever it is that she's influencing. Mm -hmm. She's just going to sell the markets to the public. And that's what's happening now where a lot of influencers are collecting money from companies. Mm -hmm. They have not even verified. Mm -hmm. they they selling products they have not even used. Selling services, they, they don't even fraudulent. understand. Right, but because what goes first is the money. Mm -hmm. Now, not to say that we have not had influencers that are on the rise that say, you know what, hold up. Before I talk about this product, I got to vet it. Mm -hmm. I got to check your company out. I don't care how much you're paying me, mm -hmm. but I have to because I believe I have a responsibility to the public. So influencers different from influencers. Mm. So let's be careful the way we use that particular language because I've seen a lot of influencers go down the drain because yeah, they, genuine. exactly, and because they're all, all about the money. Mm. And don't forget, that word influencer sticks goes all the way to the top. From the micro influencers to mm, I true. even feel like well, we'll get, that's when we address that up. I feel like everybody in their own way is an influencer, to be honest. If I tell you, oh Shayo, I like drinking this drink, check it out or try it out. I try and you like it. I've influenced you into drinking that. Mm. I think just with social media, we now have a whole niche of people who, okay, my own job was to create content. It's, it's become and, it's become yeah, a career. Yeah, it's yeah. become a career. And yeah. other people actually wrong aspire with it to being a career. Career. Yeah. career. I just feel like it being genuine. Like my friend, so for me. My friends know, like, I'm one of the people, I don't care if I know the owner of the restaurant. If your food is trash, I'll say. Yeah, sure. It really, like, not to be rude, but I don't enjoy it the food. Yo, I'll even tell as my buddy, my friend, this was trash. Like, right. you need to. So for me, I've, like, i am always been genuine to me, right? And that's because I don't owe anybody anything. Right, right. I feel like people get, social media, people get lost and caught up in source they've not even experienced. Like, you're taking this money from somebody to lie to how many people? And you, they don't care about your well-being. They don't even... You, to them, you're literally a number and a paycheck. Right. So, like, people aren't genuine with... And I always say this, like, you know, I tell you, my social media is very much dedicated to what I like. Yes, important question. How Actually, many BBLs have, how you, many paid BBLs have you paid for? The ones you're aware that you've paid for and the ones you're yeah. not going away. That you, how many BBLs uh, have how you did paid this, for? Uh, when did this leak? Uh, I've been waiting for that. I've been waiting to ask you this we, one. Know, we want to know because it wow. feels... Yeah. And the fact that I didn't many, deny that question you don't immediately. Cast. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't deny that question. I mean, I mean, hey. Hey. Whoa. 
Mm. Wow. Ah. Uh, the uh. honest truth is, <laughs> I, I probably can't count because I've never really sat down to count. But Star? over the years, it, there's some people would prefer that for me, it's a support system. Hmm. Right? Uh, Why are you making it sound professional? <laughs> Give us a number. Honestly, I can't. Off the top of my head, it's probably over 10. You've paid for over 10 it's, BBLs. It's probably over. Wait, just BBLs were like, now. that's BBLs now, like cosmetic enhancement surgeries. Well, I've also done other Botox fillers. I mean, these things well, you've are... you've paid for? Okay, so over unrelated 10. question, right? You right. know BBLs and stuff need maintenance. Right. Do you give all your girls a maintenance fee? It depends or a salary? On, it depends on the relationship. Let's not forget, some of them are just friends, right? I could have done like as a birthday present. I can, because I have, a, I've, I, still have <laughs> I still have, on the, I still have some on the list of when is your birthday? We'll get you a, I mean, we'll Challenge get you a nice birthday. butt for, it's you It's gone. Know. It's coming. Okay, October right. 14th. You know, so if, 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 if you're just like one of my play sisters or something and I said I had to give you a, a, a birthday present, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I'm not going to maintain it. I'm sure you have your guy maintaining it. You know, but there's also some that are still like my friends, and yeah, I mean, so what's a play sister or play question, friend? Question: Have you? Wait, question: Have yeah. you? If you feel free to answer, or have you had any work done on myself? Yeah, work done, gym, like cosmetic surgery. No, like what? I, 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 I see I, your teeth. No, not yet. I'm gonna get that done. Oh, oh, yeah. Where are you going, yes, Turkey? Yes. No, no, I'm going to let Lagos. Oh, okay. I, I Influenza coming. We'll, we'll, we'll use you as the prototype. Wait, yeah. well, let, me know how it, let me know how it goes. <laughs> Have you had Funny any enough, Botox? I'm not a big fan of veneers. Oh, okay, well, then why are you getting them? Vegan the clips. I'm, yeah. I've been scared and doing research because I'm scared of this filing. Mm -hmm. that yeah, really have and to when file. it comes off, yeah. Right. So, but you know what? Let me tell you something about technology research. Mm -hmm. Research, research. People are getting it done. And uh, comfortable with it, happy with it. I mean, I can do the same. Mm. Right. But you don't have to file it. You can get like the caps. Yeah, still. but have you ever had gum in front of your teeth? Do you know how uncomfortable that it's is? It's uncomfortable. Yeah, actually. so you need to file it for it to be comfortable so you don't keep playing with it all the time mm. with your tongue. Mm. Now, let's, okay, to round this up, sort of now. We've established that, okay, you know, people that get cosmetic surgeries and all type of stuff, we established that society plays a very, very huge role in people getting surgeries and getting work done. Now, I think it's really important to love yourself first, regardless of whatever you want to do to your body. It's important to love yourself first because if you don't genuinely love yourself and you get that body done, it'll never be enough for you. You will always, 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 like you will never, like there's body dysmorphia. And then if you don't genuinely love yourself, it will never be enough for you. Now, what role do you think society can play in encouraging a better body positive image, especially for women and young girls? Because it feels like everybody's growing up now to fit a mold and the standard. And ultimately, it's not healthy, to be honest. Like, even if 10 people are getting BBLs done, we don't want to be the three that are going to be on the other end of the knife. So what role do you think society can play in creating a better body positive image, regardless of whether or not women are getting BBLs done or not? Honestly, none. But, yeah. <laughs> honestly, none. If you put this topic in public, some people might tell you, you know what, there are better subjects and better things to address than BBL and your body. Mm -hmm. mm. But I'll take it back old school. Charity begins at home. The society begins in your house. Mm -hmm. Parents. Trust me, if the parenting is right, when that kid get, goes out there to the public, she'll be the ones telling other people, like, you know, hey, hey, I love my body. My mom said, my mommy said, mm -hmm. right? And try to encourage other people. For the society to come together and say, you know what, well, we're trying to address this particular issue, I bet we're still trying to address price of well. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, yeah. <laughs> this was a very, <laughs> this episode was very, I mean, then also you pay for there's like 10 two, videos. Yeah. But there's, definitely going, there's definitely a part two because now we've heard from the perspective of the male gaze, we also would want, would work woman, on hearing yeah, from somebody who has actually it. had it right, right, be right. all done. But and, I don't know why you guys did not have one come on board we she was late. did but no no she, she was late. late let's catch she's on her way she's late <laughs> oh, she's, yeah, she's late she's okay. late on her way, so you guys you know. should have told me i'll have brought a couple oh my sometimes god sometimes we need to examine these things so, so the next one we're gonna have let's yes. bring yeah, two you or could three would you, would you, would would you mind, mind standing because you would like to come as well yeah yeah we'll definitely schedule because trust me bbl needs to be spoken about yeah where you're looking at it touching it feeling it letting it twerk and slapping it 
Please, we are having you come on again so we can examine this thing in total and, you know, yeah. get it I think properly. this needs to be like, and I like that you are being quite honest because I feel like, again, speaking to guys about BBLs, they always like, oh, no, no, I don't really like it. The bum mm, is hot. I don't but care. I'll do what you want to do. you with... Yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> like... I, I know we're about to wrap this up, but I'm yeah. going to ask you to yeah. one question. Ooh, each. he's flipping. Let's he's take flipping a shot it. for this Let's take right. a shot. Like this yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. <laughs> Let me clear my throat. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, this is me. Scared. Thank okay. you. Let me clear my throat. Megan. Okay. Let's, let's stop. So, question before I wrap this up. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to start with you. Duh. Let me think You're of my own to answer. Name, you have to name your favorite and worst BBL you've seen online. <laughs> Celeb <laughs> or influencer, <laughs> you have to name a name. Hers is my favorite. Hers is my not too favorite. What's my forfeit? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Like I said, I don't. Oh. So the issue is, I don't actually know who's got BBL because, like we said, people aren't very open with it. Like who? Like, just a bunch of people. Like, Give me a name, I'll tell you. But, like, no. I feel like Tua's had something on Tua Savage, right? Her booty's been looking mighty juicy, but she says she put on weight and it's just thick. So, like, I like That's how Tua said about looks Beyonce now. Too, though. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Is it genuine because she put on weight and her bum filled out and stuff? I don't know, but Tua now, mwah, juicy. You're also going to answer that question, too. Yeah. Okay. You're going to so tell us your favorite like, and your worst BBL Do you know what I mean? Is it that I just like Tua thicker or did she really, did she get a BBL? I don't know. Okay. So... It's hard because a lot of people aren't open with it. Okay. And also, for me to say worse, I need to be able to feel it and know that. Because Instagram, there's photo editing and this. And you know, like right. you see someone in real life and you're like, oh, Jesus. Alhamdulillah. Like, is this what you really look like? Do you right. know what I mean? Right. So I can't even I fathom. Think, like, uh, I always look at people. And you know what? I'm even scared. No, 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 people are crazy. If you ask them, can I touch your bum? You, you can't chop slap. Why you say, ask me if you won't touch my bum? You know, bum, they, if he beats you on this thing. I will uh, beat you. You, you can't ask me if you want to touch my bum. No, but in that, no, I'm, you is so not fair. I, I want no, to tell you, I want to tell you a rule. Uh-huh. Any girl that's had a butt done, uh-huh. A hundred, not 99 percent, a hundred percent loves to have her ass touched. You guys are like, okay, well, I do actually have people touching. A hundred, not 99 percent, a hundred. <laughs> So Even if it's that. hard. Let me yeah, so answer your question. No. I think my favorite BBL in Lagos has to be, everybody says that, Coco by Chloe. It's my girl. Ah, mwah. That guy. Ah. Mm. But juicy by Jay, like, mm. baby, mwah, make right, it work, right, make right. it work. And then my worst, not worst, but my, uh, mm -hmm. mm, don't beat me. I'm not exactly a fan, but I'm not an anti-fan. Right. Um, I don't know. Ah, Nancy Sime, recent times, the, I don't know, maybe the filler or the touch up. No, actually, it's not even her. It's, Roman goddess. I think maybe it's just the exaggerated, like it's, I think it has to be Roman goddess. The worst? Is, no, you don't worry. Roman goddess, yeah. I think it's just. Roman's one is lovely. It's lovely. God, you sound like you've experienced have you, have you touched it, it before, first hand. Touched it. You felt Slapped it? Slapped it. Damn. Roman, I ah! missed that ass. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what's your, your, oh yeah, now let's wrap this up with you answering this question. What's your favorite BBL and what's your worst BBL? You have to give us names. Of course. You know why I will say Coco by Chloe? Why? Because that's my girl. Okay. Uh, I've seen her from zero to a hundred. Mm -hmm. She's my family. And she's yeah. really pretty. I feel like hers is also in her yeah, face. It's, it's, so it's, which is your it's, worst? It's not Pasana. The worst right now uh, is uh, Blessing CEO. <gasps> Jesus, drink, drink, not, drink, 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 <laughs> drink. Uh, no comments. That was our guest for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, bless it. If, if you had showed up, you could have defended yourself. Yes. But now you're not here. You yeah. cannot. Next time, yes. no worries. So I can't defend you. Yeah. Um, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Oh. This is pretty Mike. Well, we have like part two, three, and four coming because coming I feel like Bessie's going to come back and she's going to come uh, your it's ass. It's going to be a rebuttal. Um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you've been a pleasure. Like, I feel like social media, what people think of you does not represent who you are in real thank life. You. Thank you. I appreciate um, it. I also want to make disclaimer in terms and conditions. We are not affiliated. So this is the first time I've met him because I know how you people be in the comments. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> but yeah. But like, yeah, you are very but pleasant. First time. I've been the last. And the lifetime relationship. Love it. Right. Love it. But just oh, shy off for everybody. Uh -uh. Not to know if it's just for... Team okay. five. Thank Team you. Five. High five. We'll see you guys on the next episode of Terms and Conditions. Bye.